Hey dude, a very important day today that was commemorated by UNESCO in 1999 after realizing the importance of people to preserve their mother languages and of, of course creating material as well that promotes learning in mother tongues. And we spoke about ours a bit earlier on, but I think when it comes to Mr. Johnny Clegg here, people are sometimes, want, they, they wonder, what is your mother language? Because So is this is Zulu Samming is Tolin Sereni Nagine fourteen years Castola Ekaleni M Tulin. Yeah, but we should get Ugu Tula, Gangi Tula in coming as good in Tulan. Oh, yeah. So I would I would sing a, I would learn a song, but I didn't know what I was singing. Yes. So he will in Tombia Slegatina, Eake Ketega. So I would say I know what Slega means, means laugh. Yes. Yeah. But what does gegetega mean? And I didn't know. So I had yes. to go to the dictionary. Sure. And gegetega means to chuckle loudly, like ke, 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 ke. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yes. So gegetega is, is like a loud laugh. Wow. So I realized, oh, that's a synonym for laugh. Mm -hmm. And that's how I built up my language, was through singing it. It's absolutely and, beautiful. And so uh, it went on and on. Then I wrote it for matric. Yeah. I was the, the only young white kid who wrote Zulu B level or lower grade. Cool. In yes. 1970. Wow, that yeah, is amazing. So, I mean, yeah. through, through the years, you've seen how your music in Isuzulu, in, in English, has changed people's mm. lives, has yes. changed South Africa. How does it make you feel to see what it's done for you, for South Africa? Well, it's amazing. I mean, I think you know, language operates at so many levels. Uh, it, it enables uh, people to um, understand the world because you get, you, you get information from language. It's also, language is also where your, the, the heritage and the cultural repository of your people is. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our national anthem, we have four languages. Yes. We have Nguni language, a Sutu language, English and Afrikaans, which is saying that our collective experience historically is all bound up together. If you want to know what South Africa is, it's in our national anthem, it's actually, that's where the, the symbol is. Yes. So um, I, I think that, you know, for most South Africans, uh, if you want to cross the divide, the, the first thing to do is, is learn another language. Indeed. Can, can I Indeed. ask you a, a question quickly? Uh, Would you say that anthropology should maybe be a, 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 a subject within schools rather than a, a second language? Because then you, you study the people and you learn about the culture? Or you think the language Language is, is much more important. Okay. I think if you go and learn a language, you learn about the people. Because what you're learning is language frames your experience. So if you learn this word and this set of ideas or, or um, uh, um, uh, proverbs, yes. Idiomatic expressions. You suddenly go, gee, this guy's experiencing this thing slightly differently to me. Because mm -hmm. he's, he's describing it through a different proverb, you know? Mm -hmm. And suddenly a whole new word of experience opens up to you and it's, it brings you closer to that person and cultural to that world. Exchange, yeah, right? cultural exchange, fantastic. The future of our Language country. is critical. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sharing those pearls of wisdom with us. Thank We're going to be, there's another live performance coming up a bit later on. And if we get the chance to, we might play a, a game that I used to play as a child growing up that really kind of, you know, I, I think we, we're exchanging our cultures today, right? Yeah, we so, have to. Yes. We'll be doing Come on now. Can we be backup dancers for John? Totally. You, yeah. I, well, talk to you first. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you want to do the job. The buzz of the day. What's happening there, guys?